One sad reality about the world that we live in is that life is unfair at times. People lose loved ones, people get horribly sick, people get murdered, raped, abused, molested, and maimed. And if you look at all the shootings, the wars, the poverty, the political corruption, and all the death around the world, one can ask the question, if there really is a God, why doesn't he do something about all of this? So in today's video, we will be answering the tough question, why do bad things happen if there's such a loving God? Now, before I move forward in this question, I need you to understand that there's two ways to answer this question. There's the logical way, and then they're speaking to the heart. You see, let's say if someone clicked on this video because someone they loved died. If this were the case, their heart would be weighed down and broken. And if they click this video, only getting a summation of arguments with premises and conclusions on evil, good, God, and suffering, this video wouldn't help. If anything, this video could be seen as insensitive because there are real people out there with real problems. However, there are also people who look at all the news and all the crazy things that are happening and ask questions like, why do all these bad things happen? And how could God allow this? For these people, they aren't looking for any sentiments, they're looking for answers. And sometimes when you're looking for answers, you don't care about all the emotional responses, you just want good arguments. So moving forward, it's important to give valid arguments to people who mentally struggle with this issue and at the same time, it's important to be sensitive because there are those who may have lost a loved one or is going through a hard time. We must speak to both the questioning mind and the hurting heart. We will address both in this video and we will begin with the head. So the question is, why do bad things happen if there's such a loving God? Now let's assume for a moment that there wasn't a God. Let's say that humans were not created and that we all slowly evolved over the process of millions of years. During these millions of years, animals that were more fit would have a higher chance of survival against predators and obstacles nature gives. This is known as survival of the fittest. The fit survive and they reproduce, while the weak get eaten or die. If the world we live in was purely biological, then survival of the fittest would be the main law of the land. We as humans would only be here on Earth due to pure chance. We evolved, populated the world, and will one day die just like everything else. It's not bad to die, it's just what happens. Now let's look back at the question, why do bad things happen if there's such a loving God? This question would assume that bad things happen. I mean, think about it. If there was no God, we would just be advanced animals roaming the land. And when you see a lion eating a gazelle, the lion didn't murder the gazelle, the lion killed and 